Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. What are you doing? Oh, just getting ready to kill some birds today. Actually, film some birds today. We're gonna film some birds today. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna film for you guys, and uh, we're gonna make it just a good water goose hunt. But let's go see what all. Oh, oh, what's everybody doing in here? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Yo, God, you're decked out, dude. Oh yeah. Even oh, the yeah. beanie is looking oh, yeah. sharp. Even look at all the thermal hoodies around here. Yeah, hey. All sorts of support out here. I appreciate it, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you guys sleep? Great. Not bad. Come on, man. Wonderful. You're a, you're a big dude, and that's kind of a small bed. Yeah, yeah. It was not that. It big. wasn't that. No. <laughs> he just psyched up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I figured like, yeah, I wouldn't get yeah, much sleep. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the wife and I check it out. She picked this bad boy out. We got a nine and a half foot tall, big old Christmas tree. It's not decorated yet. I'm sure when we get back from the hunt today, the wife will probably have it done. How's it going, brother? Good, how you doing? Ready to get after it? Hey, oh, oh yeah, Bob. Been okay, ready. let's roll. Sure well, here we are. Here's the pond we're talking about. Years I think we have like yeah. four dozen, four and a half dozen floaters. Man, how many full bodies? Like six dozen? Six dozen full bodies. Um, yeah, looking good. Looking really good. We're all going to get sat down here and uh, load the guns and get ready to go. We got four A-frames full today. So if they come, they all going to die. Well, we kind of got caught. A little bit. <laughs> we were out, out of the blind gab and look up and there's three specks. Nothing like hearing, there's geese. Yeah, it's like, those are goals, right? <laughs> Shoot him, guys. Nice shot. Is so loud. <laughs> Shoot him, guys. Kennel, kennel. That is so loud. Crap, that is loud. <laughs> yeah, that was loud. That's no lie. That is incredibly loud. <laughs> Oh, so right by the pond here, the owner, he stores some, he's got some container storage, big metal containers, let's just put it that way, and they echo bad, real bad. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a wrestling match going on. Uh-oh, where'd he go, Archer? Oh, he's a good diver, too. He dove on him. Oh, there he is! Oh, he ran out of air. <laughs> Came up. <laughs> All right, goose egg's gone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you uh did you catch that one on video? I did. Ooh, big camera action. Yeah, that was awesome. Man. It was that big group. Lots of calling. Mouth is still a little tired from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just constant sound. Bleep, 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 bleep. Big groups are almost, you know, I don't know. They do it. They did it really good compared to some of these small groups that we've been trying to work. So, I don't know, no wind. Uh, we could use a little bit of wind. But, awesome start. Really awesome. Shoot him, guys. Kill him. Back. Anyway, get out. 
Shoot him, guys. Shoot him, guys. Kennel. There you go. Way to finish that thing. Shoot him, guys. Hope they don't freak out over them dead ones. Yeah, no. Oh my. Wow. Shoot him, guys. Well, 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 back home. Uh, what you guys just seen, I had to leave that hunt. I had to get up, I had to walk out of the blind, take my gun, take my cameras, and leave to go scouting. Yes, while everybody else had one heck of a hunt over that big water, I shouldn't say big water. That's actually a pretty small pond. But that hunt was, that was amazing. I, I didn't get to experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it, right? That's uh that's the job of being a guide. You got to bite the bullet and you got to do it. But we're here. We'll get to talking a little bit more about it. We're back at the lodge. The truck is I just washed it yesterday and it's already totally muddy. But look at this guy. This is a new client, his son and his wife that just came in. <laughs> he said that they have been in town for 3 days and I'm pretty sure that they found the muddiest road known to man. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, guiding's a deal, man. You have to uh, step up to the plate. You gotta get it done. It's for the clients. It's not for me anymore. It's not just for this YouTube channel anymore. And I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. As much as I love providing like the videos that you guys wanna see, like public land duck hunts, solo duck hunts, 410 duck hunts, stuff like that, Right now, I just can't do those all the time and when I want to. I'm obligated to my clients. They pay a lot of money to come here and hunt at Sand Hill Flyways, and we want to do, I want to do everything that I can to make sure that their hunting experience, their lodging experience, and their all-around experience is the best that I can possibly provide. And um, I'm not just blowing smoke, uh, I'm being honest. Um, I, if I have one tip for all you guys out there is really, really, really before you become a freelance guide or open your own service, really take into uh, just consideration how much available time do you actually have. What I'm getting at is all my dads out there, all my dads, all my 30 year old dads, uh, even if you're not a dad, can you, uh, can you do it? Can you be away from your girlfriend, your wife, your kids, uh, day in, day out, morning and evening? Especially if you're gonna be a freelance guide and you're gonna go a state away or, or 100 miles away and guide where you have to stay overnight you know, constantly. Can you do that? Does your life right now, would it allow you to do that without it affecting your family, ruining your marriage, um, stuff like that? So all in all this video, why I titled it and, and, and the thumbnail was to get you guys to click on it for one reason. Because I get asked all the time, Bobby, what do I need to do to, to become a guide? Bobby, I want to be a guide. 
when I grow up. I hear that from a lot of kids too. All I'm getting at guys is really uh, really fill out your options. This, uh, this job doesn't have a 401k, right? It doesn't have a retirement plan. You're your own retirement plan. You gotta be smart, you gotta save your money, right? So there's not someone else laying out the foundation, providing your insurance. That's, that's, it's all personal insurance, you know what I mean? So, can you do it? It's, um, it's one of them things that we all want to do. We all love to hunt, but we just got done with an 11 day hunting streak and I have never hunted 11 days in a row in my life. I was exhausted yesterday. I laid down at probably noon 30 and slept till 6.30 in the evening just because I could. It, I actually had an evening off to where I didn't have to scout. And I had to uh, <laughs> I had to recharge the old batteries, if you know what I mean. So, um, I'm not, again, I'm not blowing smoke, but really, really, really think about it. If you're thinking about doing this job and you have a family and a wife, really, really, really think about if you have the time to be able to do it without completely pissing your wife off or ruining your marriage or uh, neglecting your children. It's a, it's a thing. But we have some gifts in. Y'all have been flooding the P.O. box and I have some awesome gifts that I have to open up. I actually opened up two already and I wanna show you guys what they are. If you guys wanna send something to the P.O. box, I will link it down in the description below. Let's go back in the shop, the decoy shack that is, and open them up. Well, here we are back in the decoy shed. Check this out. No, oh, I haven't showed you guys. I've been buying the white floaters because, and it's Canada floaters, but we've already used them. They're all muddy already. I've not used the white floaters. I got permission on a juicy pond that, honestly, I never thought anybody was ever gonna be able to hunt. That video will be coming up. We haven't hunted it yet. And this is the only way to do it. Um, we gotta lay in white uh, on the bank because there's no structure, no tall grass. And so we needed white floaters to roll out. It's gonna be juicy, but here we go. This is what we got in the P.O. box today. We got a package from Shane Batter. Uh, we got a package from Lake Country Growers. I've already opened that one. It's a very special package, thank you. We have this package, which I have no idea what it is. Who is this from? Shannon Shipley. And then we have this, and I have no idea who sent this. We'll do it last. So the first one, I want to show this one first. Um, just the first two, this and this, um, is for Fred. And a lot of these packages that I've been getting lately are all for Fred. I'm just going to make it short here. Uh, Dear Bobby and Beth, uh, we're sorry to hear about Fred and your new puppy. And then they go on to say, we are a family owned farm to bottle hemp company. Our mission is to offer high quality, organically grown CBD rich hemp products with exceptional customer service. Uh, they go on to say uh, that this CBD oil that they sent, let me find it, right here. CBD oil will help Fred tremendously and they're recommending that I start giving it to him right away. And uh, they say this complex system has receptors that when activated by CBD are well known for their anti-inflammatory properties and, w and they help with joint pain. So Lake Country Growers, look them, at, look them up at lakecountrygrowers.com. Says uh, that they've been watching the channel for a long time. Thank you, thank you, Jelaine. I'm, I hope that I pronounced your uh, name right. Thank you so much. This stuff, guys, anything like this for Fred that could help him uh, with pain, CBDs. I've been recommended CBDs by a lot of people and I'm gonna start using more of them. If you want to send anything for Fred like this, again, the PO box is linked down in the description below. Moving on. Oh God, that was, don't use your teeth, kids. Never mind, use your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this? Look, <laughs> more dog stuff. Press is like, geez, more dog stuff, Bob. Yeah, this is a uh, maximum strength joint support. Who sent it? Bobby, I'm sorry to hear about Fred's hip dysplasia. Our mastiff 
Yogi had an arth arthritic issue in his older age, and we started him on a consequin, maybe consequin. I don't know. Uh, Regimen goes on to they go on to say I definitely learned a, a few things uh, from your YouTube from your YouTube videos this year, and I've really just gotten hardcore into waterfowling. Well, thank you so much, Shannon. Thank you, thank you. Fred will use these again. Anything for Fred right now goes a super long ways. This one's from Shane. We're just gonna keep it moving here. I think this video is probably gonna be at 30 minutes. What do we have here? Okay. Ooh. Oh goodness, what in the world? Frederick and Ducks are like army patches. Vigilance and Valor, 21st Civil Engineer. Got all kinds of stuff. Well, look at that. Isn't that official? Well, dang, dude, who sent this? Oh, oh, Grunt Style. Just sent by Grunt Style? Machine Batter. What's that say on the back? It was, please don't read it on video <laughs> oh P oh please don't read on video yeah. okay shane we're gonna uh we're gonna show we're not gonna read that but we will show what you sent oh that's sweet united states oh dude united states air force i really don't want it to touch the ground check that bad boy out dude we're hanging that up in here Even better isn't that sweet yeah Dude, thank you. I will read that off camera as you wish. And um, sent me some grunt style shirts, dude. Dude, thanks, man. Thanks a ton. And these, I'm gonna read and I guarantee you they're gonna tell me the story on these patches. Thank you, brother. All right, so this still here, uh, I'm just gonna take me a minute to erect it. But what this is, is a pet, a mobile pet stair set, staircase. Right? Good thing I'm good at, good thing I put up a lot of A-frames. Oh, oh, that ain't bad. Shoot, look at that. Look at that, dude. What the heck? Dude. No way. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Tell me that ain't cool. No way. Dude, that's perfect for my truck. Yeah, cause it's because so it's big. so tall. Thank you. You did not send a note with that. There's no note in the bag or anything. Thank you. Thank you to whoever sent that. That That is very quick. It's amazing. It's got a little hook so it can't fall. Thank you. Let's see, uh, let's see if he'll walk up. Come on, right here. Come on, let's go. Let's, right here. No, here. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me that ain't awesome. He'll be able to get in and out of my big old lifted truck now. You like that, dude? Come on. Let's go. Right here. Yeah. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Get used to it. You can trust it. Let's go. Yep. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Want to come back up it? Come on. Good. Okay. Turn around. Nope, nope, no lazy dog. No, come on, Frederick. Here, Fred, here. No. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. I think it's going to work, dude. He'll get used to it real quick. <laughs> you like it, buddy? <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's really neat. Yeah. Dude. It gets so small. That's the impressive part about it. Yeah, and it's easy to fold and unfold. It's light. It's very sturdy. Thank you for sending all this stuff. Three things for Frederick. It means a ton. It means a lot, especially the CBD stuff and stuff that's going to make him feel better, anti-inflammatory, all that. Thank you, guys. But I want you guys to please subscribe if you haven't. Right now, go down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm thinking that the wife needs to go hunt. I've been pumping that up. We're gonna go get her license and make it happen here. So be expecting that. But, <laughs> but hit that little notification bell down there. It will notify you when I upload. I'm gonna start uploading more, okay? I'm just warning you. But, Fred, you wanna say peace?
No, good job. Wow. Shoot him, guys.